Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk today. I'm joined once again by Rolf Gerritsen, who's CEO at uh, Emetal NRG. How is there, Rolf? Very well, Zach. How are you? Just when I thought I knew what Metal NRG was or is, you sort of changed the game a bit. Is that right? It's definitely an interesting proposition in that we're developing shovel-ready projects in partnership with EcoTech, who will be working as our technical, operational, and financial partner. The whole focus and the drive for Metal NRG is to invest in uh, projects that offer relatively short-term uh, access to revenue streams. And uh, one is the projects that we're looking at with EcoTech definitely do that. The IRR is also extremely interesting of the various projects that we're looking at. And, and I think that in general, it's, it's a very interesting sector and um, a lot of money is being poured into it. And I think we'll see a lot of developments over the next few, few years. Not only has the technology advanced substantially, but uh, there are some very, very interesting projects out there that can generate very good revenues for us. And, and that's why, why we've been interested in it and moved into it. We maintain gold, we maintain oil and gas, and, and we you know, progress those assets at the same time. But it helps that you're uh, maybe giving a, providing a nod to the, uh, the hippies and other tree-hugging type people who like uh, more renewable things than uh, fossil fuels and digging up holes in the ground. Look, I think where we're headed is in inevitable in many ways. Uh, and we've always said, Paolo Rocco, who runs... Uh, Brit NRG and, and, and myself have always said, look, a transition in energy is going to very much come from within. I think we're seeing a shift. Just look at what's happening in, in, uh, on, on the car manufacturing side. There's a big shift. And uh, there's a lot of money going into this, this sector. So, yeah, in many ways, a, a nod to the, the tree-hugging uh, hippies. I, I don't know if I would call it such. But we're definitely moving towards a green environment. Let me just give you an idea here of, of what's going on in the world. In the next 15 years, they reckon that waste is going to double in terms of volume. And, you know, addressing waste, which, which is a big issue, uh, and the changes in, in government policy in terms of uh, incineration and in terms of uh, infill, is, is definitely offering development opportunities in the waste energy projects. And, and that's where, you know, our partners, our technology partners are very strong, specifically on waste to, to energy and, and, and gasification processes. And uh, it, it's of interest. It's, uh, it's a massive problem worldwide. It's not going away. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted to be able to be part of uh, hopefully that, that transition. Right. I mean, in terms of the investment uh, situation, I put my cynical investor hat. It looks as though you, let's say, diversified the business a bit. You're not quite so binary on there be a, being a boom in oil and gas or a boom in uh, metals prices. So that's good. And I presume the um, energy area or renewable energy area is, or the, the clean energy area, is much more, maybe in terms of revenues, rather more smooth, uh, whereas you know, fossil fuels tend to be sort of stop-start or there's a lot of development lead-in, et cetera, et cetera. So is that the case, that there'll be a much more, a better flow to, the, to revenues, or at least from part of the business uh, in that way? Yeah, look, once we get the, the first few transactions going and, and we make the first few investments, as I said, we're looking for shovel-ready projects, so relatively short period of time to get into uh, to the revenue earning. And those, those revenues, once uh, the development process has been gone through, should be much more stable and will allow us to, to invest in other areas as well. Um, so stability on, on one hand, oil and gas is, is quite volatile and has been over the last 12, 12 months. And, and uh, you know, gold is there with, with Goldridge and, and uh, I think gold over the next 12 months is going to still be an interesting proposition. But definitely the mix of that portfolio gives us a bit of a balance, I would suggest. And what I'm trying to do is mitigate risk. And as I said before, move towards a revenue earning company as opposed to a company that continuously has to go back to market and, and uh, hand in cap. You're going to initiate a special vehicle for this, these projects. 
does that mean that let's say once you made a project you might sell it on or is it is it going to be like a bit of toing and froing, a bit of turnover in that or how, how is that going to work we've uh, de- starting to develop a pipeline of, of viable projects with uh, eq tech and and that's what we're focused on that the the kind of projects that we're looking at will be as i said unleveraged uh unlevered uh, IRR of minimum 11%, which is, is quite healthy, uh, probably about 18 months away from production once the transaction is completed. Part of the due diligence that we'll do on the pipeline is what are the exits on these, if any. Some will operate, others we might package up and, and move on. So again, what we're trying to, what I'm trying to do here is build flexibility in our, in our approach that uh, finds the best solution for the assets that we have. And finally, I mean, you've, you've gone into a sort of different area. Uh, are there, is there a chance of, you know, next time we speak, you'll have gone into uh, supermarkets, you'll have gone into uh, uh, technology. How broad is the remit of metal energy or is this about it? No, I, I, I think the focus is going to be very much on uh, energy, very much on the, the commodities that we're in and, and drive on those. Supermarkets is off, off the remit, definitely. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> But, but uh, in terms of natural resources and energy, we're, we're taking quite a, a broad view and uh, we're very focused on, as I said, generating revenue in the sh- shortest possible period of time so that we can uh, not have to go back to market on a, on a continuous basis. Rolf Gerritsen, CEO of Meta NRG. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Zach. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.